Here's another improper integral on an infinite interval. So I'm going from one to infinity, adding up area under this curve. And I want to know if this is finite or infinite. I'm adding up area forever to the right. Does this curve get close to the x-axis fast enough to make it so the area is finite? And if it is finite, what's the actual number for the area? So I'm going to do the informal approach first. And what I mean by that is just that we're treating infinity like a number, even though we know it's kind of a limit and not a number. So my informal approach, I guess the antiderivative. Well, this is just an inverse tangent. And then I evaluate across the limits of integration. And so I have the angle whose tangent is infinity minus the angle whose tangent is 1. And I have to think about the unit circle to figure this out. The angle whose tangent is infinite, where is that? And remember, a tangent is a sine over a cosine. So I'm going to pop in a picture of the unit circle real quick. And then I'm going to ask myself, where is the sine over the cosine blowing up to infinity? So the principal domain for the inverse tangent is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Um, so I know I'm going to be up here in the first quadrant in order to get a positive result. And how can I make sine over cosine blow up to infinity? Well, that would happen if the cosine shrank really small while the sine function was, was getting close to 1. It's right here. At pi over 2, I would have basically a 1 over 0, which blows up to infinity. Now we know it's actually a, a limit, but that's good enough to understand what's going on. What about the angle whose tangent is 1? I just marked that. So it's positive. The sine over the cosine is positive. The tangent is 1 if I can get the sine and cosine to have the same magnitude, and this happens at 45 degrees or pi over 4. So my integral becomes the angle whose tangent is infinity, that's pi over 2, minus the angle whose tangent is 1, that's pi over 4. And when I subtract them, I get pi over 4. So it turns out the area under this curve is finite and has a value of pi over 4. What about the formal approach? The difference here is just that we have to treat infinity as a limit. So I'm going to look at the integral this way. I'm going to say it's the limit as t goes to infinity integral from 1 to t, 1 over 1 plus x squared, dx. And we're really just doing all the same stuff. It's just dressed up a little more formally. Guess the antiderivative. Guess the inverse tangent. Evaluate across the limits. And I get inverse tangent of t minus inverse tangent of 1. And here, I have to know that when I take the limit as t goes to infinity, the angle whose tangent is t, it comes out to pi over 2 for exactly the same reason we already discussed on the unit circle. So I'm going to have pi over 2 minus pi over 4, giving me a total area of pi over 4.